What's up? How are you guys today? We're gonna take a look at my kitchen, fridge, pantry, just to give you guys an idea of all the foods I've been eating lately to stay as healthy as possible while recovering from my liver damage. Now, since I have a limited amount of space here, I've been a little bit lazy in making certain things just because it's so much more work with the small sink, you know, no counter space. Uh, this, for instance, is the reinforced beef stock that I make. So we take the collagen bone broth from Frankie's Free Range Meat. I chop off a bunch of extra meat I have lying around to add a lot more protein and B vitamins to it. And then I'll just pressure cook this for an hour or two. And I'll use that as a base for soups. I'll dip my sandwiches into it. Just adding a lot, a lot of nutrition. Very important part. And uh, back here is some of the... Uh, garlic and onion potato chips we have on Frankie's Free Range Foods. Uh, these are what I have as a side dish uh, when I'm having a sandwich. And usually I'll have the sandwiches when like, I just want something fast, easy, no prep at all. Speaking of sandwiches, we have some organic bread from the bakery here. Just in the freezer, staying as fresh as possible. That's really the only thing that I've been having that's in the freezer. I don't really have a lot of stuff in the fridge because I usually just bring meat home the same day from Frankie's Free Range Meat. Uh, so in the front here is a mayonnaise I've been using. We have some miscellaneous steaks, hot dog sausages that I'll have from time to time, some wine that I'll cook with. Uh, but most of what I've been eating these past few weeks, guys, has just been the roast beef from Frankie's Free Range Meat. I'll either slice it and put it on the sandwich or I'll slice it and put it in like the beef udon that I've been making and uh, also some shiitake mushrooms. Uh, if I feel like sauteing them today, maybe I'll have some more, but that's really it. The only stuff I've been eating in the fridge is the meat and the mayonnaise and the mushrooms. So I'm pretty happy to have discovered this organic udon noodle uh, that I can tolerate that I feel really good eating. Uh, found these on Amazon, bought a few packages of them. So you guys can't have pasta, can't tolerate pasta. This is made with a different type of wheat, and I like it a lot more. It cooks very fast, very easy. Been having this or the roast beef sandwiches. So I'll just take the udon noodles with the beef stock and some roast beef, mix it all together. It's kind of plain, but it's good. It's filling, and I feel good eating it. So in these cabinets is most of the other stuff I eat. Uh, we'll have to do a supplement update in a month or two, but for the most part, it's been the same. Uh, coconut oil I cook with, Frankie steak seasoning. We ran out of the... Bolivian rose salt. Uh, maybe on occasion I'll, I'll chew some gum, but maybe not more than a few times a month. And then we have some more masticum to grind up here. A few bags of potato chips. And behind the supplements, we have some of the banana rice crisp bars. Organic rice crisp. Uh, last thing I used the sugar for was the sorbet recipe. I had some pancakes yesterday, but I'm honestly not really a fan of them. Uh, with the uh, birch benders, pancake mix like I'll crave them but then when I go to actually eat them I don't enjoy them that much uh, these are some canned artichokes maybe I'll make an artichoke dip soon uh, some beans that I use for the artichoke dip uh, miscellaneous coconut milk coconut uh, oil that I'll sometimes put in like cookie recipes and then here's all of our grains uh, we have two different types of rice some oats barley which I don't really touch usually just the rice on occasion and then this is I guess I would call my apple cabinet uh, that's the only thing I really eat out of here every meal for dessert I have one or two organic apples uh, sometimes I put lemon juice in the lemon sorbet and I, I try to have it as a natural source of vitamin C on occasion uh, up here is some garlic and onion that I'll cook with sometimes and the rest of this is just like breadcrumbs flour now I actually will use the flextrose with like some fiber to make a, a detox smoothie once in a while but with how busy I've been I just don't want to risk like uh, having to use the bathroom more than normal. And then on the table over here, I have my mastic gum and my water kefir grains that I have with every meal. I ran out of water, but we have some Mountain Valley left here. I normally drink the Fiyuji. So that's really it, guys. Not a lot of variety, and I haven't been having the bread as much because there's a lot more traffic now that school started and going into the city just to get the bread, it just takes, takes way too long. So like the meals where I'm doing the bean dip with the bread or... Uh, garlic bread or that type of stuff not having as often just trying to keep it simple I did buy a rice cooker and some other equipment so maybe we'll start doing the rice more often uh, since it's getting colder it's possible that we'll switch back to the barley soup not really sure yet but hopefully this gives you guys an idea of what I've been eating and when you stick to 
a minimal amount of high quality foods. That's a great way that you can kind of dial everything in because if you're really not having more than 10 different things in your diet, there's a very, very low margin of error. But if you guys uh, would like to support me, you can go to frank-stefano.com, check out all of my businesses. We have roast beef and all high quality meat products on Frankie's Strange Meat. Uh, I don't think I showed you guys, I do have uh, the goat testicles in the, in the fridge as well that I do have like once or twice a week for the testosterone boost. Frankie's Strange Foods, a lot of the stuff you guys saw here, uh, we have the salt, we have the rice crisp bars, the potato chips, and a lot of stuff, key for grains that I incorporate into my diet on a daily basis. And then you guys can check out organ supplements, Wi-Fi shielding, Frankie's Naturals for everything I use. Always wearing the Wi-Fi shielding clothing, Frankie's Naturals products, and taking the supplements every morning. So thanks again for joining, guys. Please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again, guys. And I'll see you for the next video. Thank you.